Hey there, besties. We got to talk. What in the world? What is going on? I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. Every day is something new. Everyone is out of their effing minds. Shout out to People Magazine. Wayne Brady comes out as pansexual. I'm doing this for me. Oh my God. What is going on? I can't take it. What the hell does pansexual mean any daggone way? Bueller. Bueller. Child, you can't make it up. I can't take it. <sighs> Let me go ahead and read this mess. The Let's Make a Deal host opens out about his long road to self-discovery. Man, this man is like 50 some odd years old. Same age as me. What? And how his daughter and ex-wife are showing him acceptance. I love all people equally. And now that includes myself. Wayne. Wayne. <sighs> Deep into a Malibu Canyon. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Up switchback radio roads and overlooking a creek is Wayne Brady's house with a view of the Pacific, a creek, and not much else save for all, save for all gates. It's a fortress of solitude. It's a great place to think, Brady. 50 MF and 1. You know he the gunkle, y'all. <laughs> the gunkle, the uncle to his ex-wife's child with another damn man. I can't do it. The godfather and the uncle. I just can't do this. We are living in. The... Some, one of y'all wrote a comments one time. You said, what a time to be alive. <laughs> Shit. Every day, there's just something more crazy than the day day before. Just leave me and mine alone. That's all I got to say. This is too much. Um, He has been doing plenty of that. Brady, known as much for his deft comic timing as his fully loaded smile is ready to tell the world how he identifies i am pansexual he says meaning that he is attracted to persons regardless of their sex or gender jeez i need my button y'all oh brady <laughs> puts it another way bisexual with an open mind he says with a chuckle oh my god my heart is broken i know i know i know yes i love wayne brady okay now, even though I know there was never, ever a chance on God's green earth, why are you pansexual, Wayne? I've loved Wayne Brady since he was doing Whose Line Is It Anyway? I love that show. Then, of course, let's make a deal. I one time went to the Wayne Brady comic show. I told my husband, I said, oh, we going to see Wayne Brady. He said, no, I'm not. I said, oh, but we going to see Wayne Brady. He said, no, I'm not. He went. Okay, and he even chuckled a little bit, but he wasn't. <laughs> he always said Wayne Brady was gay. Oh my God. I'm like, no, stop it. No, no, he's not. I love Wayne Brady. He's so funny. He's funny. He's very, um, like they said, his timing for comedy is just awesome. Now, let's make a deal. Uh, it's not my favorite show. I prefer The Price is Right, Bob, Bob Barker, not Drew Carey. Um, division of it but i know things got to change because people getting old i can't do this i can't do it i can't do it today the house is bustling with activity the let's make a deal host daughter Miley, miley 20 and ex-wife mandy takata 47 are on hand takata was the first person brady came out to Y'all, did you know that during the pandemic, Wayne Brady, his ex-wife, her husband, their child all stayed together in the same house? This is how perfect their relationship is. And now he's the gunkle to their baby. Not sure if, uh, which McCall is married because I used to follow them all. Y'all, this is how much I love Wayne Brady. I used to follow his TikTok. I probably still do. His TikTok his ex-wife's TikTok, his daughter's TikTok, and the dude, he wasn't nobody, but I love the ex-wife's TikTok. She's a dancer. I love it, love it, love it. They were like, um, who's the one that just deleted himself? Uh, Twitch and his wife. So, anyway. Sorry, y'all, I digress. Takata was the first person Brady came out to. I just said, great, as I knew coming out would help him be happier, she says. Maley's response to Brady was mostly a shrug. I just said, okay. She remembers breaking into a big, proud smile. That means she already knew. Also scattered around the house, a camera crew. Brady, Miley, 
and Takata, along with Takata's partner, Jason Fordham, are filming a reality series about their blended family set to premiere on Hulu next year. Takata and Fordham welcomed a new baby in 2021, and Brady is considered a co-parent. I'll do it, okay? Yeah, because the guy's a dancer, so I don't know how well that profession is going. Oh, look at the big happy family. Oh, you know what? They could all, not the daughter, but they prop. let me keep it moving. There's a lot going on, but Brady finds a quiet corner of the home and sits down. He takes a deep breath, leans back into the sofa and opens up to people. Below is Brady's story in his own words. I'm pansexual. In doing my research, both with myself and just with the world, I couldn't say if I was bisexual because I had to really see what that was, especially because I really have not gotten a chance to act on anything. Hmm. Hmm. So I came to pansexual because, and I know that I'm completely messing up the dictionary meaning, but to me, pan means being able to be attracted to anyone who identifies as gay, straight, bi, trans, or non-binary. Now, I don't know what half of them mean, okay? Just give me gay and straight. And I think at least for me, for right now, that is the proper place. I took pan to mean that not only can I be attracted to any of these people or types physically, but I could be attracted to the person that is there. Child, people think they really know me. That has its advantages and disadvantages. Like with any blessing, I'm like, how cool. It's cool that people like me. Especially doing a show like make, Let's Make a Deal or when various companies or networks think, I want Wayne, Wayne Brady to host this. What a blessing. What a blessing to be in people's homes every day and connect with them. All right, that's a little too fluffy for me. All right, there's a reason I live in Malibu and not in the middle of Hollywood. I'm an introvert, shy. I've always been. I had a very thick stutter at one point during my childhood. All right, I don't care. Moving on. Hey, let's make a deal. Hey, Wayne. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Child, I am not reading all this. So anyway, it says Robin Williams' death had an impact on him. Okay. Uh, Y'all will have to read people on your own because what I'm not about to do is go through all this with what people put out here. I just wanted to make sure that I covered this to be like, it's kind of not a surprise to be perfectly honest with you. And it wouldn't surprise me if all these people just, not the daughter, but just do their thing, honestly, because as close as these people are, it's half damn crazy. But as I said, we live in the twilight zone right now. And everyone is anything that they want to be, no matter how crazy it sounds, no matter how silly it seems, you just are supposed to go along with it and never say anything. Just go along with the get along. Shout out to Kwame Brown, but they can have it. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.